Well, getting back to business here, one thing, um, Manafort, the mainstream media is all in a tizzy. He didn't apologize. He didn't apologize. (coughs) Excuse me. Well, he doesn't have to apologize in court. People are accusing you of something and you plead not guilty. You don't apologize. Apology is an admittance of guilt. You can be sued on that. If it came to me, no. Might look like my picture. Might look like my writing. That ain't me. It doesn't matter how much evidence they throw at you. You never apologize. And you never admit guilt. Those are just policies with me. Now, as to the update on this uh, fake site that says that I'm an attorney or the managing attorney for the Ribby Law Firm, uh, that's progressing. And, you know, it's just unfinished business before we move out of here in Los Angeles. It's business that I want to clarify and, you know, take care of. I was in our um, local supermarket, Gelson's, here in uh, Calabasas. And I went by the uh, magazine section. And I saw the cover of the March 2019 National Geographic. And the title was, We Are Not Alone. Can you just imagine... If the National Geographic had published that as their cover title 50 to 60 years ago, they would not not only be scorned, but the reporter who wrote the article would probably be run out of the industry and would end up having to give talks at UFO conferences. Now, what's going on? This is just more of the drip, drip, drip. And Oumuamua has created a shitstorm, if you remember, in 2017. Oumuamua was the first interstellar object to come into our solar system, and it deviated course. And, of course, that uh, uh, occurred uh, before all of the Tom DeLonge release of his information. And I don't think there, there is a coincidence there. I think it was all timed. And, you know, I really feel for those poor bastards in the Pentagon because they don't know what it is, they don't know how to deal with it, and that must be sending shockwaves throughout the corridors. So, you know, the, the government has kept up that lie. There are no UFOs. We're not studying them. Oops. Former Senator Harry Reid admitted $22 million project has been occurring within the Pentagon about advanced aerial threats or advanced aerial phenomena threats, whatever they call it. So it's just more of the, uh, you know, as I said before, the drip, drip, drip. Maybe we're being prepared for something. But remember, if there's any sort of a Independence Day scenario, that's probably a false flag. Yeah, you might think it's a big spaceship from outer space and there's green aliens and goblins and ghouls and all that. No, that's brought to you by your Central Intelligence Agency, which is actually a contradiction in terms, but I'll save that for another clip. Anyway, that's just a rundown on the latest things that are occurring. And... um, I'll have an image here of the National Geographic cover. So we'll um, see you in the next clip.